our gate right now. Next stop, Shanghai. Shanghai. Welcome to today's video. This is the start of the Thailand series. In my mind, in my head, this is where we all came from. The dreams. So we just landed in Bangkok after 24 hours of travel time, 18 hours in the air. So that little intro that you guys saw was very short compared to what we actually endured and it was so so long but yeah it was a lot of fun definitely an experience like on the flight from Vancouver to Shanghai somebody puked all over the floor there was a person in front of us or behind us shitting themselves every like 20 minutes it was just funny because even like the Asian people around us like kept on covering their faces they had their masks on and stuff yeah it was it was funny it was a good time though but we are in Bangkok right now um, we already did our currency exchange. Our next stop is getting a SIM card for our phone so we can post dope Instagram pictures and talk to our fam gems. Okay, so there was two phone companies that we did our research for to um, get our SIM card from. They're actually right there. It's True and, well, True and AIS. So we're gonna go get that right now. So the way we're getting around is actually using this Grab app. Um, it's basically like an Uber of Thailand. You pay in cash, you like call your car, they show up. It's exactly the same as Uber. So we're waiting for ours right now and it is crazy busy. This place is massive. How are you? Oh my god, that's so weird. Babe, I'm driving. Do you want to drive? Yeah. Because <laughs> in Canada it's on this side. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, different side. It Oh, thank you. Yeah, 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 no yeah, no problem. Wait, how do you, how do you say thank you again? Um, Kapun. Kapun. Oh. We are finally at our hotel. I'm gonna give you a tour. It's not gonna be much of a tour. It's a pretty small place. But it's what we need after a really, really long flight. Our view from the window. I'm not even gonna bother showing you. It's like street. a shack. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's, a, it's a street view. But yeah, so we have our nice, beautiful bed. Our work area, my editing area, our nice golden looking, look at that sink. This is our bathroom. Shower. It's very small. Now, it's time to take a shower, relax, maybe go grab some food on Koh San Road, which is like, I think one street over, and it's like a bunch of street food. It's like one in the morning. We're tired. I'm hungry. We are very, very hungry. We're gonna eat some scorpions. Look at this. All behind me is the whole road. So we're back from Koh San Road. We were only there for like an hour. First experience, busy, crazy, party, a lot of drunks, a lot of food, and a lot of people that are trying to haggle you for their food, bars, everything. But it was a lot of fun. Now we're back with our food. We are back in the hotel. I didn't even mention this food that is already completely eaten. It was like a little, little mountain. You guys saw it in the last clip. That was only like $4, $4.50 with the conversion. And it has chicken, shrimp, egg, it's got like the noodles, vegetables, super, super cheap. And that's like the one thing I already love about Thailand because I love food and I love to eat. So for dessert, um, this is like 
a Thai specialty fruit, or it's like a fruit that they have everywhere. It's called durian, 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 something like that. It's like I don't even know, like I don't understand. Is there a seed in here? Yeah, you eat it like a mango. Okay. It's got a very weird texture. Okay, now it smells weird. Now it smells like sewage. <laughs> it tastes weird. Like, what is that? What's up, fam, and good morning. So we are in Bangkok, day two, getting ready to go on an adventure. Right now, it's 12-hour difference, right? Like, it's 8 a.m. here, and it's 8 p.m. back in Winnipeg. So in a little while, technically, we should be going to bed. But I don't feel bad. Like, I feel good right now, well-rested. So we're gonna go eat, and we're gonna go enjoy Bangkok. Got my plate. Don't know what kind of fruit this is. I took a little bite already of it. Tastes really good, so I got another piece. Got some cucumber with Italian dressing, some of their rice, pork, just a little like mixture. Three pieces of bacon. I'd say that looks pretty damn good. So I have this. This is very similar to a dragon fruit. This is like a little pool area with our view. Check it out. I'm gonna try to get a drone shot for you guys. Wow, super bright. And it is hot, like hella, hella hot. It's about 30, 36 degrees. That's without the humidity. It's probably like 40, like it's hot. I feel like I'm sweating already. In my mind, in my head, this is where we all came from. The dreams we have, the love we share. This is why we're waiting for. And in my We just finished our first Buddha temple and it was sick. The Thai volunteer who was helping us was so nice. He taught us a bunch of different stuff about their culture and just like what's going on. Today is actually the day of the Buddha. So there's a bunch of monks praying, like a bunch of different things that are open. We're at the lucky Buddha, lucky little man behind us. Beautiful, like everything is gold and red. It's amazing how much care they put into their temples and like the people are just so respectful. It's just amazing to see such a cultural difference compared to like what I'm used to. There are 7-Elevens absolutely everywhere here. That's like their main little like corner store or like store where you can just like grab whatever you want. They're like on almost every single block. So we're just gonna grab some water now and then we're back to the information center. Shit. Yeah, this is like 50 cents. That's super cheap for this whole thing. It is so hot, like my chest, oh my God. just from walking. We stopped at this restaurant, we got a little menu here, and I'm probably gonna have some green curry. I'm starving, we only ate one meal this morning, and that was it. No idea what that is, I think it's chicken, rice, and a little bit of veggies. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, so I just made my first purchase, it's so loud here of these elephant pants. Apparently like it's a staple here, so I decided to get myself a pair. All right fam, we finally got back to our hotel and let me tell you, walking around in Bangkok, not easy. It is hot, it's hard to get around. Crossing the street is hard. Like there's so many lanes, you don't know like where to walk. People drive like psychos. We are actually going to do something that we saw on a Netflix episode. It was on like dark tourism. We're going to a special place that you guys will see right away. Let's go. Okay, so this is the place and I'm only showing you guys because we're having a really, really, really hard time getting in. And it's this massive building. It's a ghost tower, it's an abandoned, oh my God, I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. It's an abandoned building uh, that's like 50 floors and it's all gated off. There's like two security people in there and normally you can bribe them and get entrance in so you can climb up and get like sick pictures, but they're not supposed to. That's the whole point of bribing them. But they are not budging. They won't, <laughs> they're like barely even talking to us. They're getting pissed off, like taking videos of us. But we know so many people have been in there. So we're gonna still try, hopefully we can. We drove all the way out here 
paid for a grab. Let's see what we can do. Mission failed. We tried to get in, tried to fly the drone. The drone can't get a GPS signal. So I'm sorry, you guys will not be seeing this building. Okay, so that building was the one that we were trying to get in. It's got the big poster on it right now. Whoops. Yeah, we wanted to get up there, not happening. So instead, we're going into this mall right now. Miranda got grease on her shoe. A little bit, not bad. Just it's a little, just a wee bit. Off. Enough to piss her off. Dave, did you find something to clean your shoe with? Yeah. We are back on Kosan Road looking for food. And we have no idea where to go, but we're absolutely starving. Okay, we found this nice little spot. Super nice, actually. Uh, this nice little like corridor behind us. I was looking for green curry. I think we found something. We just got our meals. What I got was green curry um, with chicken, and I have my rice coming, which is gonna go inside here. Miranda got. I don't even know what that is. It's tom like yum. It's tom yum. Swiss it's seafood prawns. prawns. Hers looks really good. So, whoa, whoa, hold up. I also got a nice cold Thailand beer, which is much needed after the heat we've been in today. Thank you. is completely done, it was spent in Bangkok. I hope you guys enjoyed all the stuff that we did and there's so much more to come. This was only the first day. We are on to the islands tomorrow. We're going down south. So make sure if you enjoyed this, give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you are new and see you guys in the next video. Peace out fam.